Our first management contact was Patrick Laverde. Patrick is a graduate of the University of Central Florida and participated in the Disney College program. He has experience in several managerial positions within Disney and Disney Cruise Line. With DCL, Patrick served as concierge manager for his first contract, then never signed another one as he took a higher up position as medical operations manager, a position that does not require to sign a contract. This meant he was able to go on different shifts whenever he was needed, but did not have to be at sea all the time as he also managed the office side of things when necessary. Patrick suggests those looking into the cruise industry think hard about not just the job they want, but whether or not they can handle the lifestyle of working on a ship. Seven days a week, 12 hours a day isn't for everyone. If this lifestyle is definitely for you, go for it. He urges prospective crew to network as much as they can. Patrick interviewed for his initial position as concierge manager while on a cruise with his family. He brought along resumes and asked around until he got to meet the hotel director, and the rest is history. Patrick now works for Disney in California as a global crisis manager. Has there ever been a time in your experience where you felt that diversity or lack thereof created barriers for you or other crew members? Patrick says he has always enjoyed working in a diverse workforce. The challenges came when employees didn't take the time to learn about one another or the ways they are used to doing things. He says you must be flexible and understanding of someone's differences. Have you ever had any significant language barriers with other crew members? How were you able to overcome them? Patrick says it does happen occasionally. DCL requires all employees on the ships to be proficient English speakers. This doesn't mean English has to be their native language, but they must be fluent. Certainly everyone will have different accents and it is not always easy to understand everyone. Just practice patience and perhaps look for other nonverbal cues to help understand. Sometimes if you allow someone to slow down and think about what they're trying to say, it will help. What was your biggest takeaway or lesson you learned from working with numerous different nationalities and cultures? He says to remember that we are all the same, but sometimes have different ways of doing things or explaining it. If we work together, we can create better experiences and better ways of doing things. Michael Brennan is an actor, singer, and dancer raised in Northern Virginia. He is a graduate of Liberty University with a BA in Theater Arts Performance. He has more than 10 years of performing experience. His most notable endeavors have been as a cast member at Hershey Park and as a performer for Disney Cruise Line. So far, Michael has completed one contract with Disney that has lasted six months. He currently performs at the Virginia Rep. Are there any major takeaways from working or living in an environment with so many different cultures? One major thing is it made Michael appreciate America so much and how fortunate he's been. Hearing about some crew members' stories of working on a cruise ship to provide for their families back home was heartbreaking. Most people only could be with their children or spouses for a few weeks at a time, a few times a year. Did you ever have any significant barriers with other crew members during your contract? Michael says his ship had crew members from all over the world and that comes with different ways of communication. Every member on his ship was required to speak English, but that does not mean it was their first language. Accents would get in the way a lot and he found himself asking them to repeat themselves if it was too hard to understand. But as a whole, it wasn't impossible. What is it like working with so many different nationalities? While being a performer on a ship is different than working in a restaurant or as a member in the cruise staff, for the most part, Michael never got to interact unless they were eating or having a social gathering simply because their schedules were so diverse. He loved getting to meet so many people from all over the world. It was always fun to learn how different cultures live apart from the American culture. Another standout was the food that the crew would eat. Since most of the crew was non-American, the food catered to them more. For our final contact, we were fortunate enough to speak with Tom Wolper, the current CEO of Crystal Cruise Line. However, this is not the title for which he is most known. He spent 28 years in the Disney company holding various titles such as President of Disney's MGM Studios, which is now Disney's Hollywood Studios, Vice President and COO of Disney Cruise Line, CEO and President of Disneyland Paris, and he served as a founder of the Disney Vacation Club. It was in September 2017 that Mr. Wolper took his new role with Crystal. Is there a specific training that employees go through relating to diversity and cultural sensitivity regarding working with other employees and or customers? Mr. Wolver urges companies to make sure everyone understands the HR policies if there is a language issue. Ensure a pressure-free environment so people can report things they are concerned with. 
have the same expectations and policies for everyone to follow regardless of their culture, and remember to keep them happy. Little things like ensuring food appeals to all cultures help staff feel accepted and welcomed. How does having such a diverse staff improve your company? From Mr. Wolber, we learned that diversity in the cruise industry is truly an American topic of interest. And the reason so many cruises come out of the United States is because other cultures are fascinating to Americans. Being immersed in a relatively limited space with so many different nationalities improves the experience for the guest and some crew, but not necessarily non-American staff, as they are usually used to diversity in the workplace. Having different backgrounds or cultures helps strike conversation and make guests feel more comfortable. It enriches the travel experience as well as the crew member's experience. The feeling Americans get on cruises keeps them coming back time after time. Through this project, we have learned that it's easier to enter the cruise industry than we thought as long as you network properly. We have also realized that while diversity is a huge deal to Americans, it is barely noticed by many from other countries. It's important to remember that everyone is working toward the same goal no matter their culture, and they all want the same basic things such as safety, security, and entertainment. As long as they work together, crews can be very happy and productive at the same time.